January 2011. Researchers survey and measure the monolithic stones and H-blocks scattered around the archaeological site of Pumapunku, hoping to solve the mystery of what these structures were used for and why. The evidence that something extraordinary happened at Pumapunku is in front of our very eyes, because at Pumapunku, we find evidence of stone cuts that we today could only replicate if we use the most sophisticated of technologies. That is part of the great mystery of Pumapunku. It seems as though some kind of factory was set up there to make these almost exactly the same. It's almost like a Lego system of interconnecting blocks, and that is unique on this earth. Many of the blocks were prefabricated blocks. Prefabricated blocks means planning. You have to make a design. Planning means writing. Now the archaeologists say that Pumapunku are the ruins of temples made by the Aymara. Aymara are the Highland Indians up there. But the Aymara were Stone Age people. They had not even writing. So not planning. It's absolutely impossible. Prefabricated blocks in Stone Age doesn't fit with Stone Age, and the precision of the blocks is absolutely buffing. In Danville, Illinois, toolmaker Chris Dunn uses measurements taken at Pumapunku to create a 1 8 scale model of an H block to better understand how they may have originally fit together. So you actually went to Pumapunku to measure the H blocks. What was your conclusion? What did you find? For me, it was important to find out what the measurements were. Uh, what I found was that the internal cavities were not parallel to each other. And by internal cavities, you're referring to these two parts right here, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. These two surfaces right here, both top and bottom, uh, they are smaller at the front than they are at the back. Essentially Which, suggesting a dovetail. Creating a dovetail. Mm -hmm. Why do you think a dovetail shape was carved or used? Really, if we look at the way we have used dovetails, we use them for mechanical purposes, to hold things together. So essentially what I'm saying is that they were using these H-blocks for a mechanical purpose, probably to hold hinges for a door. To test his theory, Dunn created a door hinge that would connect to a small-scale model H-block. So if we put this together, we put the one in the bottom, like so, one in the top part, like so, and then this piece fits in there, put a hinge pin in it, and there you have your hinge. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely spectacular. And of course, the most fascinating question is, what tools were used 5,000 years ago? Because something very sophisticated was used, and not chicken bones. Not chicken bones, not uh, copper chisels, not uh, stone chisels. The tools that were used to create these blocks at Pumapunku do not exist in the archaeological record. According to Dunn, the H-blocks may have been used to mount hinges for a massive door, perhaps for one of the largest temple complexes in the ancient world. It's a spectacular discovery that Chris Dunn made. This lends a whole new meaning to the H-blocks at Pumapunku because possibly they held something in place. The question is, what?